Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next, uh, well to another tutorial series I should say. And uh, this one is going to be a really short one and when I mean short I mean like probably max 10 videos in this tutorial series unless people ask for more. But I really wasn't planning on making this anytime soon but one of my friends says he wants to get into game dev. I mean sorry, web development. And so uh, I'm going to be showing you guys an easy way on how to start web development and how to make websites. And, uh, and for those of you who know about programming, there's a bunch of different web development languages. There's like HTML, CSS, there's JavaScript, PHP, jQuery, Ajax, etc., etc. There's a lot of different languages that can be composed together to make a web page. And so it takes a while to learn all those or to master all those languages to make a website. And for those of you who really don't like scripting languages, it could be uh, quite a challenge or it could be quite boring to do that. And when you really want to have a real cool website, like the one I have up now or any of the websites I've ever had before, there's a real simple way in how to get it up and get it started. Now, I don't know, like a lot of people have asked me how I made my website and I've, I, I've tried to answer as much people as possible, but I'm going to show you exactly how I made my website. And it's not that I coded my website from scratch. I didn't code it from scratch because what's the point of creating a website from scratch? There's no point. Every single website has a login, every website has a menu bar, every website has a logo, and then there's different things that differentiate different websites from other websites. And so what I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, a CMS, which means content management system called Joomla. And what Joomla does is that it adds in all the basic stuff for you, like a login, it adds in the logo, it adds in the menu items, and... Uh, what you do is you just add in the rest of the stuff that you want now They have a lot of different modules and components that are already pre-made So you can have a cool looking website with slideshows and a bunch of different things up in no time And there is still room for you to code if you ever want to add in your own custom PHP code or your own custom HTML You can do all that good stuff But I'm just gonna be teaching you the bare basics of Joomla just to get a basic website up and running in case you want to create a quick website in case a family member or a friend wants to or say you want to do this for the rest of your life even if you want to make uh, web development a professional career you have to know a CMS called Joomla because it allows you to make a website relatively fast you can you can have a full-fledged website like mine up within like a week or maybe in a few days and in, in a fast-growing technological society the faster you can do something the better if it takes you a month to finish a website rather than me, which takes me a week, I can get four websites done when you only have one done, which means I make more money and so on and so forth. But anyways, enough of me talking. I'm going to, I'm going to be just teaching you how to make a basic website, nothing like mine, but I'm going to show you uh, what framework I use to develop it and show you how to do the same. So uh, to get started, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to triple zero webhost.com and uh, TripleZeroWebHost.com is a free web host so you can uh, test out your websites and stuff like that. And what you do is you create a subdomain to one of their main domains and you can do uh, make websites and stuff. So anyways, I already have an account but I'm just going to uh, just sign up to show you the whole process. So you want to click sign up at the bottom and once you've clicked that there's you can either host your own domain name if you've already purchased one but we don't want to actually spend any money we just want to test it out so right now this is going to be my website name so www.whateverIWantToBe.site50.net so what I'm going to do is just put coding made easy so it's going to be www.codingmadeeasy.site50.net so now you have to create an account and ah. Uh, I don't even know if I have an, um, I'm pretty sure I already have an account on this email. So I'm just gonna, uh, I think this is my YouTube email. I'm not really sure. And uh, you just put an email that you want to put in there, any email, create a password, and uh, type in the text right down here at the bottom. And so you agree to the terms and you create the account. And I did something wrong, I think. Maybe. OK. 
Okay, so I don't know why my, my computer um, are saying never for the site. I don't know why it's going really slow. Okay, so the text I entered was incorrect, so I did something really stupid. So do I just type in this text and then, okay, whatever. Tell why. If I type this in wrong one more time, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, so anyways, this is waiting for a confirmation email, so um, what you need to do is go log into your, your email. So I'll log into my YouTube email. And okay, cool. I got it. Okay, so I got a email from Triple Zero Web Host, and basically, you have to click right here just to confirm it. Just like every other website you sign up for, and you're gonna get a status that says building. Um, it should take a minute or less. Uh, it shouldn't really take too long. Uh, so just wait for it to wait about a minute for it to build. So, uh, while that's building, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up another tab and we're gonna search for something called FileZilla. I don't know what happened there. FileZilla. And we want to go to uh, click that link. It's called FileZilla-Project.org, and we want to download the FileZilla pro uh, the client. Sorry. Now it's going to based on your operating operating system. It's going to recommend one for you. So if you're on Mac, it will show you a Mac version. If you're on Linux, it will show you a Linux version. And click download now, and you can download it. And I'm pretty sure you guys know how to go through a download process, so it'll be relatively easy. Uh, so once you once you've done that what we we're gonna do is we're gonna open up something else we're gonna type in Joomla and we're gonna go to Joomla.org and you can read up on all the stuff if you guys want to you guys don't need to what you're gonna do is just click download and you can download Joomla 3.1 and sorry if you hear talking in the background there's a lot of people in, in my house at the moment so what you need to do is click download uh, Joomla 3.1 and right now I'm just going to download to my desktop, download to wherever you need to download it. So now that this is done, we're going to go to the cPanel, sorry for the, any background noise. So we're going to go to the cPanel and right here on your right hand side you should see something called a username. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to copy that username. And we want to go open up FileZilla now. So let's search for FileZilla. Open that up. So the host for for the host name is a site name. So whatever the name of the site is. So that is right here. The same domain name we gave it. So we're gonna click that site name. We're gonna copy that site name. Sorry. And we're going to paste in the host. And for the username, we're going to copy this username right here paste in the username and whichever password that you used in order to create the account type that in and if everything goes right you should see the status that says directory listing successful on the right hand side over here you should see do not upload here dot ftp quota and public underscore html so you want to double click public uh, underscore html and you, sh you should see two files in there we don't really care about those two files at the moment so what you want to do is double click your zip file with your Joomla stuff in there. Uh, if you don't, if you can't open up a zip file, just download something called WinRAR or WinZip or something like that. So you want to highlight all of them, uh, drag and drop it into the public HTML folder in, um, in FileZilla. And after it's done extracting, which should take uh, a few seconds, it's probably, it's going really slow because I have Camtasia open. But once that's, once that's done, it's going to load all the files to your web server. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this tutorial right here with the file uploading. And what I'm going to do is just uh, set it into a next tutorial. And the next tutorial is we're going to be setting up Joomla and setting up the website and getting all the information you need to set it up. 
So that's it for this tutorial. I'm just going to show you what's going to happen after this is done. Um, so when it's done extracting, you're just going to see all the files being uploaded. It's going to take roughly, uh, depending on the speed of your computer, it could take a few minutes. Make, it'll take probably like 10, 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, after all the files are done uploading, then um, you're finished. And then the next tutorial, we'll look into uh, uh, actually installing uh, Joomla after you're done uploading all the files. So that's it for this tutorial. And uh, once it's done, check out the next tutorial and you'll learn how to do all that stuff. So bye. thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.